this is the romance genre, this is how much of it I like. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to Romance-a-thon day four. I have not done anything except wake up. I decided to edit my video right away today um, before I did anything else. And so it is now exporting. It takes a while, you know, it's probably like 30 minutes till that's done and then uploading it to YouTube takes like an hour and a half. I think it's because my videos are usually always so long and they just feature like so many clips and so many different things because I really love B-roll. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that is the whole reason why I film daily vlogs because the B-roll and like adding music to it and just getting the different angles, like it is my all-time favorite thing to do. Like I could care less of all the time talking clips that I have, I'm like, Psh, Jackie, shut up. Like, no one cares about that. But I am always curious to know, like, I think part of you guys love, like, just listening to what I have to say about the books. And then part of you guys, I think, watch the daily vlogs because you like to see what else I'm doing in a day. And if you didn't know, I actually have a main channel where I film, like, day in the life videos. And I do pretty much everything that I do in a daily vlog in a day in the life on my main channel. It just I'm usually not talking about books, I'm talking about my actual life. So if you didn't know, I'll link my channel up here. It's also always down below in the description box. So you guys can check that out. But I thought I would mention that because sometimes I get comments where people are like, oh my gosh, like, did not know you had a main channel. Like, why am I only finding that out now? Also, honestly, I would love to know, like, what, what makes you guys watch my daily vlogs? Like, what is your favorite part? Because I'm just curious, like, not that I'm gonna change the way that I do anything, I'm just really curious to know, like, okay, this is a 26 minute vlog. Like, when you guys are watching my videos, like, what are your favorite parts? Okay, so today, like I talked about in the last video I just edited, I was gonna do an Instagram poll to figure out what book I am reading today. And I looked at it earlier, let me check it again. Okay, so this is what I put on Instagram. Okay, never, never, on the rocks, never, never, someday, someday, on the rocks, never, 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 on the rocks, never, 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 <laughs> someday, someday, trouble with hating you, tears of test, tears of test. So when I looked earlier, never, never was definitely the winner. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Never, never has six. And it looks like second place would be On the Rocks. One, two, three with On the Rocks. So it looks like I'm gonna be reading Never Never today. It's actually downstairs, I don't have it up here, but I'm actually really excited to read Never Never because it's a Colleen Hoover book. It's actually Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. I am worried about the Taryn Fisher part because I do not like Taryn Fisher's romance novels. Like they are a no-go for me, but I don't know. I, I know I talked about it in my last vlog, but like obviously we know this is a me problem because I have such unpopular opinions but like I feel like I've read all of the romances that I would have ever you know rated five stars I do have a whole video of my favorite romances um, I don't know if you've checked it out before but like those are five star romances that I've read and loved and I feel like I just can't find those anymore and I don't know where to find those and so I was looking at my shelf, like I do have a couple other options. Maybe I need to go with something that's not as like, I don't know, like mainstream. So like here on my shelf, I I do have um, Float Plan by Trish Dollar. And I have heard that this is kind of emotional. It's also very short. It's only 250 pages. So I have that. I also have The Girl He Used to Know. I know that Gwen is actually reading this today because I watched her vlog this morning. And this like I've read On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves and I loved it. It. Um, so I don't know what I like this one. I don't know. I also now I don't want to try this one out today But I also have after uh, My friend Pam like she loved this book and I, I haven't even watched the movie yet But she, I mean she's pretty sure I'm not gonna like it But uh, one of my friends was unhauling it and I was like, you know what? I'll just try it out one day, but I do have that maybe I should read like a romance thriller I have he will be my ruin by K.A. Tucker I don't know, this is a romance thriller, right? Like maybe, maybe I need to read something like that. I also swapped for Malibu Rising, which you guys saw in my other vlog. I don't think that this is really a romance, right? I think it's like historical fiction instead. Is Stephen King's Lizzie story, is this a romance? I think this is about a married couple, but I'm really bad with Stephen King, so definitely we, we should not read that. Nope. Now, I do have a couple like other um, romances, but I was gonna do a special vlog for them. 
So I have Back to Delaware, I have Long Shot, and I have Priest. And so this, I was actually gonna be doing a special vlog with this one, so that's why I haven't picked them up. But if you guys think that I would like them, you know, maybe I should just pick them up for this vlog. <laughs> Ooh, you know what else I have? I have All About Us by Tom Ellen. And this actually was personally recommended to me by my friend Brooke. She said that I would love this because it reminds her, I think of it was like maybe in another life and a couple of the other books that I really, really loved. And it is a time like alternate reality type of book, but um, this one is a little Christmassy, I think, cause it's in December. But you know what? Maybe I should try it. Like maybe it's like Christmas in June. I don't know. This is a really good contender. Maybe I should try this one. <gasps> I forgot I had this one. So this one actually was sent to me. It was like a blind date with a book thing. This says one year ago, I buried my husband. One year ago, I held his hand and said goodbye. Now I spend most of my days lost somewhere between trying to remember every smallest detail of our lives and trying to forget it all. I fill my hours with work until I'm too exhausted to remember him to feel anything at all. One year, 365 days, and then one knock at my door changes everything a letter from him a last request a secret will oh my gosh this is pretty big it's like 400 pages but like i think i'm gonna i think i think we're gonna read that this week <laughs> let me know your thoughts also i have this is this is this a romance i don't think it is but just let me know i also have torn which i would probably like but i do want to do this as a special vlog because my friend Teresa personally recommended it to me um and this is an age gap romance Ugh. I feel like I just have a type. Like, this is the romance genre. This is how much of it I like. <laughs> I have a problem, okay, you guys? I think these are the last two, like, romancy books I have. I don't know if this is actually considered romance because I think this is actually, like, a thriller, but maybe it is. And then I also have The Roommate by Serena Bowen. You know what? Maybe I just need to totally change my whole TBR. You guys let me know. Like, of the books that I just showed you, for the rest of the week, should I change my TBR? Let me know. It's, it's all up to you guys, okay? The rest, the, how the rest of the week goes is all in your hands. <laughs> I'm eating some lunch. I just have a green pepper with cottage cheese and avocado with sriracha and leftover spam from yesterday. I have not run anything yet. I took a shower um, and then made lunch and I'm waiting on my video to finish, but I have to leave kind of around one o'clock to go to my dentist appointment. So I'm going to eat lunch, go finish my video. So hopefully that vlog can go up before I leave to drive. And then I guess I'm gonna be finishing the guy on the right during my drive to the dentist. And then when I get back home later, I guess I will start never, never. Just finished up at the dentist. I did have to wait a little bit because they had some kind of like scheduling thing. Um, so while I was waiting, I actually started, <laughs> thank goodness I brought my book. I'm telling you guys, every time I don't bring a book, I'm always upset that I didn't bring one. So I, even if I think I'm not gonna have time, always bring a book with you. So I ended up starting Never Never. I'm only on page eight, um, but it's technically chapter two. And I'm actually, I don't wanna jinx it, but I'm actually really liking it so far. I mean, I'm eight pages in, 
but I'm just saying that like I feel like for a lot of the other books even the first few pages like I have been not interested in it whereas this one I did not read the back like I have not read the synopsis of it all I know is Colleen Hoover is my favorite author Karen Fisher she's okay with the romance usually like her thrillers a lot better I forget what the girl's name is but the girl and then the guy Silas but they both are in high school and for some reason like the girl did not know who she was she like forgot who she was didn't know who she was where she was at who anybody was like she literally like lost her memory and silas is her boyfriend and she says something about how like oh my gosh is it happening to silas too because he like looked over at her and had like this like really blank expression and so then we're on silas's chapter and yeah like i guess he also lost his memory i don't know it's like I think that's why I'm liking it is because it does not seem like a typical romance. Maybe I'm gonna be wrong, but like I said, I didn't read the back, don't know what it's about, don't know why they don't remember anything, but I do love amnesia and all that kind of thing. Memory lost, it's best. I'm gonna head over to Starbucks because this girl deserves it. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I have money on a gift card, so I know it looks like I'm constantly spending money on coffee, but I swear I'm not. And I'm going to run to the library because I had some holds come in. I'm getting some like keto paleo cookbooks because I need to eat low carb again. Bread does not, bread just makes me get fat. It's ridiculous. I am literally at my highest weight and it's very sad. I even weighed myself this morning and I just keep gaining weight even though I've been calorie counting. Yeah, that just does not work for me. I'm gonna have to just cut out all breads and desserts and sweets and everything for me. But anyway, gonna go to the library. Um, I think that might be it because I actually have to travel again on Thursday. So I'll be in this area again. So I'm probably gonna do half things today, half things on Thursday. But yeah, that's about it. Hi, can I get a hot venti flat white with an extra espresso shot? Thank you. You too. Got my Starbucks. It, I mean, it's still like 80 degrees outside today, but it definitely feels a little bit chillier. So I did get a hot flat white, but I ended up getting a venti because I was like in the app price checking everything. And if I got a venti with an extra espresso shot, which equals exactly like two talls, it was cheaper by like $2.50. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink half of this today, save the other half tomorrow, and maybe I'll even like ice it so that way I don't have to get coffee into town because tomorrow I'm gonna go and like eat lunch in town and do all that stuff. Um, yeah, so literally spent less money because I was, you know, just smart like that. But anyway, I'm at the library. I'm gonna run inside and grab um, a bunch of cookbooks that I have on hold, and then I'll do a quick little haul when I come back out. Cookbook haul. If you don't like cookbooks or cooking at all, you should probably just skip this portion of the video because I do not have any regular books from the library. So first off, we've got the Keto Diet Cookbook by Dr. Josh Axe. I actually really like Dr. Josh Axe. I've read pretty much everything that he has come out with. He just really believes in like whole foods. That's what I believe. He also has a lot of gut health books and programs and stuff. So if you were looking into that, definitely look him up, really like him. And his website's really great too. Then I got Keto in an Instant. This is for the Instapot. I love my Instapot. I use it all the time. Um, so I just wanted to find even more recipes to use for the Instapot. Um, the reason that I pick up all of these cookbooks is because I like to look through them. And then if there is a specific book that I think that I would be able to meal plan out of, like there's many recipes I wanna make, then I keep that one and I return the other ones to the library. Then we have Weeknight Paleo. This one just looks really good from the outside. I hope it is really good on the inside. It's 100 easy and delicious family-friendly meals. Um, no gluten, no grains, no dairy. And I just really like that it's like weeknight paleo because that probably means that, I don't know, it has a sheet pan on it. It'd be nice if it was like a lot of sheet pan dinners or just really easy things. Then we've got, this one also looks really beautiful, Real Food, Real Simple. This is 80 delicious paleo-friendly gluten-free recipes in five steps or less. Uh, it is pretty tiny, but it just looks very beautiful. Like, I mean, even if it doesn't have good recipes, the cover def definitely gets me. Then 
This one is actually not paleo or keto. I actually have had this on hold for a really long time. I've been waiting probably two months for this cookbook. It does look really, really great. Um, but this one I had originally gotten because it was more of the like farm to table type of eating style. So I still am going to look through this. It's half baked harvest recipes from my barn in the mountains. I mean, doesn't that just sound great? And it looks absolutely beautiful. Like the pictures in it are just so incredibly nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. Uh, I would totally make stuff out of that. Then we have the Zen Belly cookbook. This is to paleo cuisine. So don't really know much about this one. Just got it because it looked nice. Then I love my Instapot paleo cookbook. So another Instapot book, but this one is paleo. The other one was keto. And is this the last one? This is the last one. This is... 30 minute paleo meals. This one, I don't know. The, it just looks like not as great. I don't know how old this is, but yeah. Anyway, so that was my cookbook haul because I would like to meal plan later. Um, so that way I know if I need to get anything at the farmer's market tomorrow. And also I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow and the next day. I'll be coming back up here. This is where I used to live and there's an Aldi here. So I'll be passing through on Thursday because I have um, a, an appointment at the fertility clinic. So when I pass by here, I'll probably stop at Aldi and get a bunch of food. Okay, time to go home. I'm gonna listen to the guy on the right. I only listened to a little bit on my way here, but I might be able to finish it on the way home. I don't have that much left to go. Okay, you guys, I know that I haven't filmed very much today. Like I haven't done any extra things other than just filling you in on what's been going on today and it is 10.05 and I am officially pretty much halfway through Never Never. Maybe a little less than halfway but I got to part two so technically this is a three book series it's just very small so the first book was 112 pages that's where i'm at right now the font is kind of tiny though like yeah that's pretty tiny um so it's a little bit more i would say than 112 pages in like a regular book but i am now at part two there's three parts i am really liking it i can't say that it's totally a five star book yet but from all of the romance that i've been reading all week long this is like i just really 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 love colleen hoover i love her writing style i think that she just makes very real characters and i love that she doesn't fall into the normal popular contemporary romance like formulas and tropes and all that kind of stuff. Now, I knew nothing about this book going into it and I only read the synopsis like now before filming this video just because I wanted to see how much of it it kind of gave away and it doesn't really give you anything. So unfortunately, I can't really tell you what this book is about because I think that that is part of the reason why I'm loving it so much is because it's something that I didn't think like, I don't know. It's just, it's just totally just not a traditional romance. And I really like that about it. So this book is about Charlie and Silas and they are in high school, um, but they definitely seem to act a little bit older than high schoolers. So I don't feel like I'm reading like a young adult book um, but they supposedly used to be dating each other and they forget like there's something wrong with their memory so they don't remember that they've been together but um, part one ended on a cliffhanger so like if you are wanting something that's like romantic but also kind of thrilling and suspenseful and mysterious this is definitely the book that you should read like I have no clue what's happening. I have no clue where this is going. Whereas a typical romance, like you just know like, oh, they're gonna get together. They probably hate each other. They're gonna make some rough comments. Then they're going to fall in love. They're gonna have sex, they're gonna fight. And then it's gonna be happily ever after, you know, forever and ever. That's what a typical romance is like for me. What's really, really funny is at the end of um, part one, Colleen Hoover wrote, cause it's like part two, whoops, 
part two. And then um, she has a little note. And then Taryn Fisher has a little note because they both wrote this. And Colleen Hoover said, this book is for all of you who love happily ever afters and forgave me for the ending of part one. It was Taryn's fault. And then Taryn said, this book is for everyone who thinks happily ever afters and Diet Pepsi are stupid. That is me. I must be just like Taryn Fisher because happily ever afters are not my favorite. So I loved that part one ended on a cliffhanger and that we don't know. Have you ever watched the movie The Vow? It has like Channing Tatum and Rachel McAdams in it. I love that movie so much. I've watched it so many times and because of Charlie and Silas not having memory of each other, it's this book is really going into like do you just like somebody like why did you like that person especially if you don't know why you did or didn't like that person and both of these characters like there's been infidelity with both of them it's just really cool to see like how colleen is writing out their relationship where it's like it's not a perfect relationship they don't know if it's perfect they have no memory or recollection of it and that's kind of how i feel with like in the vow like she she was told that that person was her husband but she was like I don't know you, like you're a stranger to me. You know what I mean? Um, so I just really like reading things like that and seeing it like unfold and figuring out like, did these people just like each other for convenience? Was it because people made them? You know, would you actually fall in love with that person again, despite what you know about them or don't know about them? So really, really like that topic. I think I am gonna try and read for a little bit more it's 10 11 and so i think i could read for another hour or maybe until i get to the end of part two and then tomorrow i could quickly finish up part three hopefully i update you guys in a little bit this book is literally blowing my mind right now am i reading a thriller i am falling asleep but even though i am not done with this book it's very good i'll let you guys know that i am very much enjoying it but i need to go to bed so I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to give you guys the update when I'm all done with it. And I hope you guys had a really good day with Romance-a-thon today. So I'll see you in tomorrow's video.